Hi, hi. Welcome back to part four. Hold on. Let me make sure that my, because I do, again, watch this on YouTube um, just to make sure that it's not coming through fuzzy. And my YouTube is not turned on yet. There we go. I had to mute. Okay. So, welcome back. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Getting some work done. I'm going to tell you right now, these signatures are taking and are going to take a long time. A long time. Um, last video we talked about uh the envelopes and things i don't use very often i went ahead and i stamped them that one has a feather the different colored waxes with a little brush silver on them they are not openable there's nothing in them um so no need this one has like a little rose on it this one tree of life and i did uh i put in like this one has two green and one purple. This is two teal and a goldish color. This one has two blue and a green. Yeah, no, just playing with wax seals. So I did that. Um, I did work a little further back in the book on the coin envelope. <laughs> coin envelope. And then there's the other side of the coin envelope. There's our gentleman. Look how good this goes together. Look, look how this is coming together. Again, amazing. And none of this is put down. None of this, see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to work on today. Um, I have an idea for the cover. I'm not going to mention anything about it yet because I, I got to figure it, figure it out. But we did talk about bringing sewing into your journal if you want um that look i like that look i like the shabby strings hanging out things like that we also talked about writable space um we're gonna work on that over there it's set up right back over here um but sewing uh bringing in sewing okay so I'm almost glad that I didn't even think about putting sewing in this or sew around this because, um, because I'm using the paints as my ink, um, I would be covering up some of that stitching. You know what I mean? So I, I did, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it. Um, you can, uh, Learn from my mistake and sew yours first. Uh, if you want to go around like your sides, whatever you want to do and then fit it in there. I, I don't know. I think that that would be um, not as freeing. You would be uh, confined to those sewing lines. Does that make sense? So I'm kind of glad that I didn't do that. We also talked about bringing fabrics in. This is just a little... Remember, I said from an older project, sorry, excuse my arm, uh, I had these little pieces, and this is what I did make the cover um, straps out of, or whatever you want to call them. Um, this is just some muslin, uh, tea dyed muslin. Oh, that's a piece of paper. We don't want that right now. I just what ruffles if they call that a ruffle i don't know messy stitched it um sh pulled it a little bit at the bottom and it'll go on the bottom of a page somewhere and then that incorporates you know um some sewing into the book and you'll see over here where i incorporated more also i went and to my lace stash because i said i did want to bring some laces into the book into the book um I grabbed this one right here. Stay on there. This one right here because it's a very neutral palette and they are trims. They're small and they're all vintage. I love them. Um, and they're small. 
So I don't want like big bulky um like laces in there. You know what I mean? Like big laces. The trims, the little trims, those are fine. Those are fine. I even bought, and I don't know where I got this. And if you, if it is you, please tell me so I can tell you where I got this. Uh, it's just fibers. Fibers. So I might want to use some of these fibers. And I brought this one out because I like this. This one is thin little crochet. This is not vintage, by the way. That one's not. This is. And this has a little bit of pink on the edge, which can go underneath um, papers, which you will see how I'm going to do my flip out over here, how that might work for you with that kind of um, lace. So um, what I'm working on now is, you can just move this out of the way because I do want that at the bottom of that page. So I started here. right here this is a collage here there's nothing put on that that's part of the kit i i'm working out of mega mix mega mix and match this is one um this is glued on there this was supposed to be like a double tag thing i just like the 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 blue and then these roses, do you see the match up there? Okay. So last night, um, I obviously had to print a lot more uh, because this is so big. This might go down to three signatures. And I say that because um, what I'm printing on is 110 pound cardstock. It is making bulk. It's making bulk. See, I only have two pages done under there. But it's already making the pages thicker. So I might not be able to get all five in. If I can, hey, that's great. Um, if not, then I am not, I'm not stressed about it at all. I'm not stressed about this project at all, which is like the beauty of it. Um, I've resorted to using the whole store, <laughs> pretty much the whole store um, of Tracy's because I did print something else out. Um, I just printed this sheet right here, which is from her layered tags and field notes. I liked it because it had the mini stuff. Now, I don't want to fuss cut any butterflies, but it does. I didn't manipulate this. It does come like this with two prints of the same thing. Um, so I liked the little parts. These are good for collage. And I thought, <laughs> why not? I, you know, like I don't have enough in the five other kits that I have. But I might use it. I might not. But definitely sticking to Mega Mix and Match 1 and 2, Compendium and Compendium MK2, and the um, Framework Ink Light Ephemera Kit. Uh, those are like my go twos. So right now I'm working on one. This is the one that has the cover that is done. On the cover, remember it has a place for the little, whatchamacallit, tag to go in there. And you'll see there's cheesecloth hanging out of the bottom there now because I did the edges of those with cheesecloth. See, they're all there. They're all looking at me. We're going to see. Um, I still have the same amount of elements. I haven't made any more because I thought I should start working in here to see what I do need. Um, so this is still just the same. I just uh, put my wax seals on those. So now what I want to do, um, I'm working on the front here. And I like this bird. Must be royalty because he has a crown on. Um, this is a label from the framework. Like that. Because it's like a cranberry color. So it kind of pulls out of the roses a little bit. I like this tag. Which is from the kit. I don't know if it was from another tag that I disassembled or what. Don't. At this point. Wow. 
you're just going to have to watch. Uh, it's getting hard to memorize all of these. And I want some kind of label on this bird. Or it can go anywhere it wants. I'm still thinking. Hmm, I don't mind that so much back there. up to the top, doesn't it? We need that big of a piece though. This is a very, very light blue color here. Really, just as I, it's been quiet here all day and Ray's are sort of filming somebody wants to do donuts in the parking lot. Ooh, everyone who is in the path of that big storm coming, be careful. I know what I'm doing. I'm crafting. Um, just be careful. This is one of the ones that I did not take that out, but I think I did because I printed so much last night. I'm just playing around. That's the best way to do things, pick things up, put them down. Um, I know everybody's like, commit, commit, commit. No, I don't want to right this moment. Um, like this right here will pop off of that. You can see that. Okay. Not hating it. Cool. Oh, and I have, this is my stack over here. And then there's more to cut underneath in there. But remember, I'm keeping my little pieces in uh, the Ziplocs. I'm, that's the best system that I have found um, as far as keeping them separated is Big Bag. Big Bag. For big papers and little bag for little elements okay that's the best way that i have found is working for me um <clears throat> to explain it like what i'm gonna try and keep up and tell you which kit i'm in right now i know i'm in one mega mix and match one that's a really pretty blue flower, but there's uh, plenty of florals on that paper. Okay, so that yellow piece right there. Kind of a good place to put our label. And I know there's a label right there. I'm aware of that. Yeah, I like that. I like it. I am using Fabri-Tac. You can use uh, like your uh, matte medium if you want. You can use uh, glossy accents. Uh, not glossy accents. What am I talking about? Or glitter glue. Uh, you use glossy accents too. It doesn't matter. Um, also, uh, before I glue this down, I was thinking... Do I want to sew around any of these elements? And no, I don't. So this would be like the time where you would think, hmm, do I want to sew around anything? Uh, but on this particular page right here, no, I don't. Don't. Because I am uh, incorporating that piece at the bottom. 
So I'm cool with the amount of sewing that will be on this page. That paper. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. All for me. All for me. And you guys gotta get out of the way because there is glue on that side. Let's get this down. Remember, don't glue down your sides that you want to put your collage under. Can't press that bird down yet. I'm actually going to put this on this side here right there and then just a little on this side so he sticks to the crow let's go under now we can put you down because the rest just goes on top very cool I like this because it says plants and seeds, and birds eat seeds. <laughs> That's my thought process on that. Birds eat seeds, why not? And plus, there's plants on the picture. They eat seeds. They need seeds to grow. I'm just going to put this right here. I'm actually going to slide it over just a tad. Sorry, my FabriTac has a string around it that wants to come out. Let's go right there. I'm going to go over into the crow's picture a little bit with that. And there it is. Not colors you'd normally put together, huh? Blue up there. Big bird. Blue down there. Pink. But when you look at it from far away. Matches. Matches. This matches this. This pulls out that. That pulls out that. There's even some silver here. Going down into the what this looks like to be um, like it's stenciled on there. The only thing left to do now is use our our paint to ink, and that page will be done. Again, kind of got an idea for the flappy things. Might not take them off. Still going to think about that one. Okay, so I wanted to come over to, which one was I working on? Okay. So this. You go away for a little bit. It's getting a little grungy, just a little. All right, so I have this right here. Um, and I know this fits. Oh, it was right here. Oh, this next to the bird. Okay. Again, incorporating some sewing into it. And I just left two threads on there because I didn't I didn't leave any on the back. Just ignored. That's the how uh Valentine paper. Because sometimes my printer doesn't like to work, so we have to use our paper twice. Um there's a string here, string here, right here. I went around this right there. And this is going to go right on top of here. This is a top loading pocket. Right there. Top loading. Look at these two together. Looks pretty crazy, right? You're like, yeah, right. That's not gonna that's not gonna match. None of this is my collage. This is just one of Tracy's tags. And you see right here, that line right there, that's where I was supposed to cut it. But yeah, no, I didn't because it goes just fine because it pills that back over there. Um, this is part of compendium. I did bring that in. 
uh, MK2 on that one. Um, and then the rest is all Tracy. So what I wanted to do with this one is we need to bring in some writing space. Okay. So before I glue this down, I sewed this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how good that is. Yeah. Are you, can you sew like a fifth grader? Ah, uh, yeah, that's just bad. It's bad. I don't care though. It's eclectic. Who cares? What I want to do is I want to put it right here. To where it's going to flip out. So I'm going to glue it down with that piece. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here with this piece. Right there. Because the greens go together. Something's got to go across the top here. Because obviously you see where the tag is supposed to be. And I won't be cutting it along there. I'll be cutting it along here. So I'll just come along the top there with something. Um, I'll probably pull a color from over here. It'll probably be, let's go with the pink. Or, you know, um, I don't know. They're right next to each other. So I haven't given it much thought. That's why this is just so much fun. They say I'm still having a blast, by the way, because I am. This is awesome. So what if I did like that as my overhang on that? Not the whole thing. I'll rip it up and stuff like that. But what that's going to do is instead of leaving just that plain paper right there with the horrible stitching, um, it's going to let the, allow this to flip out and you'll have some writing space here. Um, I am making a book board for this, like a writing board. I've never done that with any of my other journals before. I just didn't think it was like, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't really think about it. Um, but because this is going to be hanging out, our journal's going to be here. Who knows? You could probably move that cover over and write on that. I don't know. I'm just going to put, make one just in case. I don't know. I want to get this close and that that stitching. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is just hot. Let me tell you. So it's going to flip over fine if I glue it like that. Um, we're obviously going to put a strip right here of something because I know I want to incorporate sewing, but not that. And could I redo it? Sure. But it is what it is. It's, it's whatever. So I'll just put something down the side here. Um, you know, maybe take a part of this and just cover the little stitching right there. Just a strip. My off cut of this would be great. Um, can't even say off cut because we're tearing everything. So I need to get this lined up and this is, it's fiddly to work in because these pages now want to lift because if you have things going underneath there, it's almost like you need a weight for like right in the middle. Look at me looking at my desk. What can I throw down? I don't know if that'll be weighty enough. Hmm? Yeah, works for me. That will be the part. Okay, so what I think I need to do is sew it onto here. Again, don't mind the ho the holiday. It's just when my printer, she's, she's fiddly in herself. If you guys have ever seen me on a live and try to print, yeah, she doesn't like to perform under pressure. So, yeah. She cut off her, mm -hmm. whatever. The fabric is going to give me a second to work with this. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, can you even see what I'm doing? I'm so sorry. You guys, it, it takes a lot of space up on your desk, too. All right, let's get this on there. Okay, there it is with our flip. The way that's flipping out. I normally don't do flips. Tell you, this has pushed me way out of the comfort zone. Let's just pull you down just a tad. Okay. But I'm loving it because really, do you remember? There was three M's and a C that I could not do for nothing. Mixed media, mini and collage. This is just, I don't know, helping me. Okay, so I'm going to glue this part down right here. Minding those strings where I did so. That is one thing you'll have to do is mind the strings where you did so. Mind what piece you're putting it on. I think like if you just left it like this, look, it's already wonky, but that's okay. I don't care. It gave me what I needed. Um, if you just left it like this, you would open this up and bam, okay, there would be a big blank spot. <clears throat> I don't want a big blank spot. I want this covered and then there can be my blank spot where it's not actually going to use this. A thin strip of that. Um, because that's writing space. That's writing space. Don't take it all away. Uh, no scissors. We only use scissors on labels. Or I am. I'm going to say hopefully this piece right here will cover it up. that is some hot stitching right there yep it will and it brings this all the way over to here this is so much freaking fun oh can't take it can't take it i know i'm not gonna need all the piece like the whole piece Again, and you guys know, this will reinforce your stitching as well. Unless you can stitch nicely and don't have to worry about covering it up. Get down there. Go down. There. Now I have some writing space. Perfect. The tag that I put in the top of this writing space on the back because I'm not doing anything with the back of the tags. Uh, there has to be some place to write in here a lot. So say I put that there. So you now have this spot, 
you know, have the back of that tag. Oh, God. I just flipping love this so much. But do you see how we're getting a little bulky? That's what I'm saying. Maybe three. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll go. I'll go though as much as far as I possibly can. Believe me, I'm gonna go. Let's see. What else do we have? Ooh, what about a stripe? That just pulls something totally different right out of that. Ooh, that's cool. All right, hold on. I do need my scissors for this right here. It's bugging me. It's a fizzly. It's fizzly. Okay, that's not bugging me. Did I just put that on my desk to save? Are you kidding me right now? This is like, wow. Um... Believe me, there's enough in here. Okay. So we're doing the back of this page right here. No. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. We have the other one. That would be cool if that was long enough. We can make it long enough because there is some gingham in there. Like the head doesn't, this is green gingham with green stripe. Yellow. Ugh. The The paint will pull it together, believe me. I actually kind of like that green. And I like the other one, too. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, that's kind of cool, too. Which I think this one is the... Yep, that's the other side to this, I believe. Yep. Yeah, that's the other side to that. We put it on this way. Yeah, it's too matchy-matchy. Believe it or not. Put a cool gentleman on there. Oh, I had this upside down because, like, there's a thumb hole. Is that what we were decided to call it? A thumb hole? Is it a thumb hole? Thumb something? Oh, he's cool. And see that black goes with that black down there. With the bird. You could have a guy or a girl. I like the dude. Okay, for the top. Some gingham right there. Put this maybe under here. Just a little stripe of it coming out. I'm going to do something with that, don't worry. Just a little stripe of that coming out. Blue ticket is neat. Sorry, in the zone. Love the chocolate pulls over to the pink that way. You were messing with my eye. Stop. Could do a whirl there. No. Please don't eat chocolates. He does. Pretty girl right here. It's like a mermaid looking. Yeah, she's like a mermaid, but 
something like that. Uh, no, she's too late. Don't like that. I like it, but not for this. When I say I don't like it, doesn't mean I don't like it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Could be the girl on his mind. Cut her out a couple of different ways. Everything's not down yet. It's just, <laughs> you guys, it's just fun. Oh, we had some of that over here. I can finish that top off right there. Okay, you two play nice together. All right, put you right there. Stop it. No bother to do Oh, that's very cool. That was cool at the top. And then put that over it. Chide to that thing. Ooh. Oh, it's looking very cool. Love the I'm getting like the teal behind it is pulling off. Oh. If this kit, stop it with your bad self. Love it. Okay. That's where I'm going to go with that. Off to the side. Not incorporating things like buttons or stuff like that into this. Maybe that's a cover thing, but yeah, no. All right. So take a picture of that. I tried to put it on there as best I can. I get the other things I'm not using out of the way. Like him with that on the side, this on the bottom. All right, so we have to get kind of the measurement, if you will, of this. Remember, this is not an earbud friendly video. Don't. You do it. There's my edge. It's actually right on the line. It doesn't matter which one I put down, really. All right, so I know we were putting this here. Let's 
Who's the brain? Yes. Ooh, look at it now with it. <gasps> oh. Love, 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 love. Okay, this was the top piece. We don't need the whole thing. Let's not waste it. Let's just put about that. I like the spray on that. Okay, that goes back in there. Okay, stop, stop moving down. Don't move. Go back up there. Go play over there. Okay, then that was a piece that came over the um oh, that was trash and he came down with that okay all right here we go and again i could sew around this if i wanted to to add some sewing elements i sure could but i don't want to Wow, that's still wet. This is the only piece that's going under. I'm just going to slide that down under there before I tack down the top. Let's go this way with it. All right. Get down, get down. Okay. Stay for a minute. <clears throat> nope, you are the side piece. This piece. Right here. This is eclectic for sure. I like it though. I really like it. Like, it's just freeing. Not overthinking. Really, I'm not. Really, I'm not. He's not getting pushed down all the way because we have this piece. I'm really, I know it seems like it's taken me a long time, but it's its really not. It's just like, what, what cool piece do you want to put with the other cool piece? Like, love that. I haven't hidden the yellow flowers. They're still there. This is, uh, looks like Fabrique de Chocolate bonbons. Okay. Yes, please. Could put some cheesecloth into this if I wanted to. Gonna put that on a little angle off the side. Okay. Um, do you see this over here? This is Compendium uh, MK2. This is uh, the first Compendium. It's all coming together. Oh my. Stop! And there's some writing space. It's not much, but it's better than none. That It's the visual of it all is just freaking cool I love it all right and if we like I said tag
That is so cool. Okay, let's work on the back. Shamuth, please. There's so much to work with that it doesn't matter. Like, this kind of has a green vibe going on with blues and pinks and everything. There is no, like, palette except the neutrals. The neutrals are, like, the main palette of it. And this isn't even painted yet. It's not even painted yet. Um... There was something I was going to say, like, if if you were to honestly, like, take the time and ink this up and do your sewing and everything like that, it, it would turn out just as cool. Like, it, it would. It would. It would turn out just as cool. Or just use one particular paper. That's fine. I just like this because it's just totally eclectic. I am loving it. Okay. So, because I'm sliding over here, move this over here, getting a nice scoop, kids. Okay, I'm going to bring in another kit. Where I'm putting it, I don't know. Hold on. Make some room here. Get these signatures out of the way. They don't need to be sitting there. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. I usually have been doing this um, after I paint. So, I throw some pieces on around there and here, here and there, there and here, here and there. Okay, so we're coming into a regular compendium and another compendium. Just being mindful of what I have. And then let's not forget, this is old compendium here with new compendium here. This is the MK. <clears throat> no, this is a mega mix and match. Which, those two go great together. We got that. And these are, have the paint on them. And this is the Tim Holtz uh, washi tape. <sighs> okay, so if you have a big blizzard coming, like I do, work on your journal. Make one of these. Keep you busy for a very, very long time. I see a color right here. I want to pull left. Mm, it's just long enough. And we know it doesn't matter if it's long enough or not. Because we can add. Add the things. I like how that green pulls out the green on that. Okay. We're going to cut this off. This is no longer a tag. But we like those topper pieces. I like that. Okay. Again, if you have little weights, that would be fun. Stay. See how it's getting full? So that's why I'm wondering if I'm going to go down to three. I don't have to I won't if I do then I will could go down to four this is nice because this piece of this piece right here um that's the book that I put down beforehand and that is a plain edge I don't necessarily have to go all the way up there I could just line it with something and just leave it there however to me that gives the illusion of that's a pocket and it's not a pocket. And there's a flip on the other side. I could flip down. Oh, there's an idea. I could 
flip down. Or take a piece of paper and fold it a certain way and just glue it along here and open it up. And then you have a whole piece of paper for writing. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Look at this guy. Love that guy. He's pretty cool. Now if I had cut off a tag top and put it on a tag. He's cool sitting there. And look, that, that looks really good with it. Really glad I decided to put that paper down. I don't normally do that because I would think, ah, you know what, that's so much bulk. But it's really working out quite well. How pretty those flowers are. This is a little eclectic here. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing it too. No worries. that piece which look how it lays right here you can see it all the way back to the front page wow I like him oh he's cool and you have to think that we're going to put the paint in here as well he's cool I like him I want some of this. Where's. Okay. Looking for a particular piece. Excuse my arm, but my pile is back here. It, it takes a lot of room on here because you're ripping, tearing, everything like that. Um, I want. Isn't that weird? I'm looking for a particular piece. Like, I have these memories. What? There's even a cute little boy there, too. Okay, it's in the other kit. Okay. Stay. Um. I am grabbing... What is this? Okay, this is Compendium MK2. Compendium MK2. What's this? Come on, buddy, get out of there. This map. This map. I'm the map. right down there before I even cut off any more. Now you guys are like, Michelle has flipping lost her mind. That's it, guys. She's over the edge. She's over the edge. She's lost her ever loving mind. Yeah, I have in fun. What? Yes. Yes, I say. Fun. Here goes some. Ooh. Just a second. Just a moment. Just a moment. Let me look at these papers here.
She's losing it, people. She's losing it. Okay, I do like that dark up there. Because that dark pulls off of that right there. Don't need a lot of it. This is a different pack, so it goes right there. I'm trying the best I can. Best I can. To keep that... I'm going to start gluing this bottom part down because I am pretty satisfied with this so far. So. Oh, yeah. No slipping of the fingers, please. Out of the way. Thank you very much. Line it up right there. Stay. I'm not putting anything under this one, so. Well, I guess I kind of am. Guess I kind of am. It'll be that piece right there. Oh, all right, cool. I remember when you're putting these together, just make sure you don't glue that closed. There's no glue there. It's good. Kind of like the rippity edge of that out. And it's cool that, you know, there's straight edges from where I cut the things. I'm fine with that. Something's going to have to go across the top there, though, to blend it all together. Does this have a top or a bottom? That's like fine to me. I guess it would be this way. Alright, so maybe it's not going to go towards the edge. That's fine. Even better. Very cool. That's too much and it hides that thing. What would be the purpose? Yes. Yes. It's such an odd little square up here. Um, oops, that doesn't go in this pile, it goes in this pile. The only thing, see, this was, I was going to use this for another project, so I'm using up my scraps. I can come down a little bit on that. No, you don't want it. Again, things that you wouldn't think would go together. Oh, what about that piece? It was bigger. No, nope, I'm not doing that one. There's a whole collage right there in itself. It's actually kind of cool. But then, no. 
What if I did that and then just put these I'm looking at it on the camera. Yep, I sure am. <laughs> I don't know how she did it. I just don't know how she did it. It just all oh, just. <laughs> You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Fox. Oh my gosh. Playing here. Love that. I kind of like the three girls. It's so much back. Yep, I'm taking the puppy off. Sorry. We'll save him from somewhere else. That looks like my bell puppy. Again, things that you think would not go together. Going to the brilliantly. Where's that plane? I like that. It just needs torn just a tad. Do my very best just to use the ruler. It's a lines paper too. Cut that straight down the line. That's better. Like that. Like them on there. Pulls from the black, pulls from the green. Each piece page is just melting into each other. Yes. And that cream that I just put down, this cream line paper, is going with the cream in the background here, over here, obviously over here. It, it, it's going with everything because it's a neutral color. Anything neutral color is going to go great with this. And this picture, as you can see, is very pink. And it's going on green gingham. That's right. It sure is without a problem. <laughs> Should I do this thousand dollar reward <laughs> for the lady? How much for your little daughter? Huh. Actually, looks really cute there, but no, that's mean. That's mean. I'll put that on someone else's. Um, today I'm looking for a label. My mom used to say that to me all the time. How much for you, little daughter? About that. Or over here. Or I don't need a label at all because it's kind of like a fake one right up here with a clock and a bingo and all that. Just trying to see if I could close it off somehow. Oh my word. Shush. 
and then I just need this piece done, this piece, these two back here. They, this is going to take a while. Gonna take a while. I'm just thinking. Of, I know you hear the feel the earth move. Um, of just how I can incorporate more paper. Love this, love this, love this. I just want to ink it. I don't really mind that that's wonky out like that. It's not really that um, noticeable. Why? Because it's the color. It's the neutral. I have wondered what I'm going to put in these things, though. These <laughs> coin envelopes. And the ones that I have and the other ones are even small. What am I going to put in there? Makes it very stiff. It's very stiff. But. I'm just trying something. have all these papers that I had cut for a little smaller of a journal. Because I don't mind that hanging open. Well, there's a whole piece of paper in there. Well, kind of a half piece of paper. There's one way. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. A little bit of... I'm just using this as like a reference. What if I put like a little baby ruffle around here? Incorporating again some fabric or lace. Ooh, what if I grab one of those laces and put it on the edging of that? Hold on. Because some of these I feel like are paper cuts waiting to happen. So... Just let me see here. A little piece of you. They're not my fabric scissors, but you're going to have to do. That is a big needle. You go over there. Don't want you in my foot. It's very easy. It's going to be very easy. This is already painted. So I would come in afterwards. I'm just rubbing this around, making a smooth coat here. Wow. Okay. Go. I just eyeball that lace too. cute looks cute adds just more visual because you see the piece here piece here piece here there's one behind here there's one up here up here there's a stamp there's lace now that's like nine 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 elements just on this little little piece here ten if you want to include the paint Yep, that's cool. And if I go this way with it, it actually will line up with this. And if I wanted to, I don't think these fit though, do they? Oh, they do. I mean, to come out and overhang off of that, obviously, it's upside down. <laughs> ah! Oh, 
Oh my goodness, it was easier this way. Okay. I can't even talk. Everything works. Everything works. It works. I would want like the seal like on, I don't know, on sh show. What would, what would you say that on display? Um, there's not really any way to put it. It has, it serves no purpose. This envelope serves no purpose whatsoever. There's nothing into it or like in it. You can't get into it. it it's a, it's a functional envelope. If you break the seal, you can put things in it. Um, I'm not breaking the seal that I put, I've put nothing in it, but it is a working envelope. Yes. Yes. You could, you could, if you want to. Just like, where would you put like something like this? Just like paper clip it on to there. This is where we would get with filling up these pages on the inside. And there's only four. It's not a lot at all. I put some tape down that for sure. It does, I, I feel it, it's getting heavier. It's getting bulkier. Yeah. <clears throat> Just things to consider. Ooh, bulldog clip. Why not? Totally could. Oh, I, I just have, oh, but I have some of these, which are my rusty bits, which are the earring backs. Yeah. Hold up. I obviously have to glossy accent this because it's not. Nothing doesn't work. There's the top. See how bulky it's getting? That's why I'm thinking maybe three. I don't know. Remember, nothing goes on the back of this. This is where we put it in at. I don't know. I am loving this, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving this. Okay. Yeah, you'll be better when I put glossy accents on you. Loving this. Really? Mm -hmm. Not folding it one more time. I don't know about that. I may, I might want to put that down. Unless it really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Something cool on the front of that though would be just to put this on the lace. No, I haven't put the paint on it or anything, but laying the journal this way now, just by putting that on there, pow goes there, pow goes there, pow goes there, goes here. Just by putting that one little label on, boom, hits off of this envelope right here. How, how, how do all these colors match? How? How? I guess it is the neutral. It's got to be the, the neutral base. Like 
how. How. I love this. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Okay, you guys have seen me do the painting and everything like that. I'm going to finish painting this. I'm going to get this signature done tonight. So I just want to see when I start putting elements in it and everything like that, just how big it's going to be and how many I'm going to have to do. Because I think that I'm going to do them all one by one. Because if it's too big, like that's got some heft to it. You know what I mean? Like it's, and this is me squeezing hard down. And that's with one envelope, envelope, whatever we're saying, one envelope. I think I had like, what, four, four more sides, four or five more elements to put in. Plus, if I wanted to put anything in with the papers, definitely want to put some more washi tape in. I have to reinforce it. Um, not, I'm not worried about it coming apart or anything like that definitely not worry about that this needs something here just little touch up things which when I said this needs something here do you remember what we talked about um here I go again oh and I also brought out um some burlaps I have this pretty white and then this pretty light colored uh like a uh, natural color um so i thought about using that and it's shreddy it shreds easily so like that about okay we had talked about I say it would be really cool if we jetted like um, lace out of the sides, but there would be no point because that's where the closure would come over and you wouldn't see it anyways. However, with the trim, hold on. Okay, I'm getting rid of needles out of lace slowly doing that because I'm folding them behind the other one. Wow. It goes so good. Oh, and this is vintage, so it's already just grungy. Oh, and it matches perfectly to end on a little thing. That's cool. Okay, putting up here, what if it just like took two of those off and just put the little lace element right there as well? Let's do it. I'm committing. All right, so I know it ends right here. Okay, so maybe I'm going to do one more thing. And I don't have to ink here. It's not interfering with my pocket. That just took up some space. Not very bulky. That's why I'm, I think I'm going to stick to trims. Trims are nice. I like the hangover just a little bit. Over to look out, see how good that goes. It's hitting off the cheesecloth, it's hitting off 
that was like a colored tape like put it put on the digital just hitting off that down here see where the little like fake tape is right there oh yeah so let me get two more let's go three let's stick it right here i want to go over the e or the f let's go over here Got a ducky on there. Perfect. And with that already being painted, it looks like it goes right in that spot. See it right along here too, where it's already been painted? Looks like it goes right, it goes perfectly with it. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. And I think I'm going to put this piece on this underside here. Because remember, the crow's on the back. I just haven't done the inking on that. That's going to be at the bottom. Oh, geez. Yeah, well, I can see it. It looks, it looks pretty cool. Sorry. So that... That's how that's going to be in there on the bottom with just that little bit coming out right there. I flip and love this project. Oh my gosh, I don't want it to end. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Trying to make these a little bit shorter for you guys. Um, I know it's going to be a long series. Somebody said, film it all. Yes, Danielle, talking about you. Um, <laughs> I totally appreciate that. I really do. I hope this helps. Um, I know my collaging is not the best, but honestly, working with these papers, I don't think I have to be good at it. Because, for one, some of it is already done for me. For two... Everything goes. So I don't think that this is like me, Michelle, me, can screw something like this up. I, I just adore this. Absolutely adore this whole entire process. Working with my wax stamps, things I don't normally work with. Just love. Loving Love, 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 love. Again, thank you, Tracy Fox. I am using Mix, Mega Mix and Match 1 and 2, Compendium, the original. Um, Compendium MK2. And I threw in some Framework Ink Light Ephemera. As far as my labels, um, I'm inking again with Air Apple Barrel Khaki and Antique Parchment, gluing down with Fabri Tac, uh, only using a metal ruler to tear my pages. I am using my scissors for the uh, labels. I don't know why, but I am. I am. I'm using my scissors, or I'll use my my big mama over there, the cutter. Um, and I did uh, introduce some stitching and what I want as far as putting some sewing back into the journal. Um, it's not going to be anything extravagant. That just has a little black safety pin on it. Uh, I really don't think I want dangles or charms, anything like that. If that in comes into play, it will be for the cover. But I have an idea for the cover. Like I said, 
but I'm going to just hang on to it for a minute because I need to think about it. It's going to come to me in a dream. I know it will. Uh, I really hope that you guys are enjoying this because I am loving on this, like crushing on it hard. Um, uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed lately. Um, thank you very much to Tracy and Joey Defy for shouting me out on Instagram. I appreciate you all. Um, sneak peeks are always uh, on my Instagram page. Uh, if you do not follow me on social media, I do have a Facebook group. It is Journaling with 1L. That is me, Michelle with 1L. Um, that is where I would take my friend requests at. Everything is done through my Facebook group. Totally appreciate everyone watching this. This is part four. Um, look for part five because we haven't even touched a cover yet. So I'm going to get to work on signatures again. Well, it's just going to be one of those projects where we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see if I'm going to keep this piece on. Um, I didn't want to say I don't know that much in this video because the last one I just kept saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but we're just going to have to see as I make these signatures how bulky they're going to be uh, as to how many I can put into the um, closure that I already have pre-made, which everybody has seen before. It's just three pieces of cardboard and um, two pieces of muslin. It is a gated, I guess you would call that a gated opening there is the front the back there is the cover you can watch it everything in the intro all the products that i'm using all the kits which is now basically tracy's etsy store um those are the things i am definitely using uh also i hope you guys follow um uh, especially in my group, it will be posted. And please check out my community uh, links and posts. We are taking um, open mic has now changed to a uh, craft squad on tour. And it will be going between the five of us. There seems to be a regular five. So um, We'll be doing lots of projects. Last Saturday was a themed project and it was a tag and we had to use one thing that we had in common, which was liquid acrylic um, and tags came out five different ways. Let me tell you, it was very, very cool. So we will be doing theme nights. Some nights will just be flying by the seat of our pants. It all depends. I hope everyone enjoys um, that uh, series as well that we're doing. It is uh, Amanda Inspired Craft, Kip's Corner Debbie, uh, Laurel Forever Purple Creations, Michelle Hartley, which is Girly Girl Creates, and myself. So I hope that you follow all of that. Every social media link is down below. And all the girls are listed down below as well. Michelle also will be having, um, does uh, sales as well. She uh, is our, <laughs> she's kind of our enabler. Um, she's where we get our stuff, the goods. And she has a um, store, if you will, because it will be a website up running for it uh, called My or called your crafting source. So you have to check her out. Um, uh, I think that's all I wanted to say. We're just going to have to wait and see where this goes. Uh, I will tell you, do not be afraid. I collage terrified me and I am no longer terrified. And Tracy Fox, thank you so much again. This has just been incredible. I am loving this journey of this and of course to Laura Dennison who is my follow the paper trail uh for inspiring the idea um I'm using again 
go to the intro, you'll see what I'm using. I'm using things that would have been thrown away and I'm not going to be throwing them away. And again, the beauty of a digital kit is you can print that puppy out as many times as you want. <laughs> I never run out of paper with this. I will not run out of paper. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Number four. Be looking for number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five million. I don't know how far it's going to go. It's up to Danielle. It'll go up to <laughs> a gazillion. Anyways, thank you all very much. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.